everybody. Our usual don't know where it's gonna go. Because we, just, we don't plan stuff around here that much anymore. Maybe I'll get back to the plan and ash. There's a lot going on and banging from the car wash and my hair flowing because it's hot. I gotta wear a sweater at work because I'm always cold because they see y'all sick to seven. I will show you what I do as I grill. So I usually pack styrofoam everything. Styrofoam cups, aluminum crates right there, hand sanitizer. Thank you, you too. A baster. This is the charcoal I usually get. And I have a mobile grill, or mobile grill, if you will. Here are fire logs, if I told you that I had those. And my lunch pail. So what's in it this evening? We got corn. I don't feel like unwrapping it right now because still want it to be cold because I haven't started the fire yet. This is the barbecue sauce that I'm going with. And butter, of course, for the grill corn. Salt and pepper packets right there for convenience. And marinated beef ribs. Because we don't do the swine over here. Sorry to tell you. But yeah. This is what I do. Also, Underneath it, you see that white thing? It's actually a clear pack. So that way I can keep my meats and whatever condiments I bring, you know, as cold as possible until I want to cook. I'm getting a layer start on it, so hopefully it gets done by sundown. But at the same time, I don't want to rush. So this is what we're going with. And this is further my view. Not much. But you've seen this part already. So we're just going to chill here and relax. So usually this area isn't cloudy. But just because of these wildfires and the smoke, all that, it's starting to give a little cloudish film more than I like it. It's really driving down my mood. I don't know how to feel about it. And I always have to check cool, like my surroundings. That's just natural, especially when people are nosy. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not sharing my food with you. Sorry. <laughs> and I forgot my speaker, so I don't know how to feel about it. I may have to use a styrofoam cup to listen to music. Because we utilize resources around here, we make do, you know? So, we are going to see where the evening takes us. There's a lot of boats out there, surprisingly. Yeah, we'll see. So, I'm going to take you guys down to a little area. How many sharp people are down there, but we'll see. Oh, there are little babies down there, little girl. Look at you. Just concentrating on walking right now.
and it's back up to the stairs we go. There's a couple people down there, so don't really want to ruin their peace because one looks like she's sinking a lot and there's a mother with a child so I like to stay out the way you know what I mean I don't really feel like climbing those um rocks yeah I'm gonna get back to attending the squirrel <laughs> it's a little windy today but this is the fire So as I was saying, I tried to say it in another clip, but this is not, these aren't clouds, they're haze. And I told you in the last vlog, if there's a settlement that you or a loved one experienced the welfare, I'm, I'm reclaiming my money because this is some bull. I have never seen something so, and I'm gonna say apocalyptic, I don't care. It is what it is. I have, I've lived here for going on three years. This guy has never been this cloudy in ages. I'm gonna show y'all again, you gonna pan it. I don't know if the camera will do its justice, but I wanna tell you it's creepy, it's creepy. And that's okay. I'm still real outside though. I can't let, I can't let this continue to bring down my mood cause it's not, not cause I can't see the sky. That's not my doing, you know what I'm saying? That right there, you see that sheer gray, like no puffiness. These aren't stratus clouds, it's straight haze. See, even my camera messing up. Do you see that glitch? Oh, they don't like me telling y'all about this. But yeah, pans the gray and then the water right away. Sheets of gray, crazy. This is the progress, flipped it over. And close that back up because it's starting to cool down. Finished product. Look at that. A sheet of gray. I don't care what I look like. I don't care if y'all judge me because I'm wearing a sweater when it's 90 degrees. I don't care. Like I said, I work in a cold kind of. Cloud, cloud, cold climate. But I don't even know if I want to drive while saying this, but just don't give up. Because, mind you, I'm not on a comparison type of thing where, you know, certain people, their problems can seem very minuscule to yours and yours is so grandiose or whatever, but don't give up. Because it really is facts that, you know, life is kicking a lot of people's the took us right now. <laughs> Just, it's crazy. And I don't know if I want to do a full sit down or whatever, but I know as soon as I got in this car, I needed to say it because Lord knows right now. Ooh, I'm gonna need some severe self care. I'm gonna need to be away for a few days because this is crazy. This is crazy. And I don't know if, again, once certain things passes, I don't know whether to put it in a book or a video like this. I don't know, or both. I don't know which one. I want to do but yeah I wish I could drive around this time just chill talk to y'all cruise with me but you know the way I live in a state where it's very dangerous to drive it's like because people just don't just no regard for certain things so you yeah. know We'll see if I have the energy to do a sit down because the way my elephant neighbors are set up, there's no peace there either. So I'm not having the best of time right now. But 
promised myself we're gonna commentate on real life and I'm gonna give y'all the real not everything is ups and downs and even so I'm still being positive when just life is kicking my ass in a whole new way again and <laughs> people that like bluntness I'm gonna give it to you <laughs> cool all right let me get home so I can try and relax but as I said no peace there either right now so pay too much rent for a di you know what I'm not even gonna mm -mm. nope <laughs> I might see you at home or I may go do some fun in the next couple days because this is gonna be a very sporadic one because picking up the camera I wouldn't say is really hard but your girl's struggling right now just mentally because it's just it's too much it's too much alright so a little time has passed Neither one of these. Sorry if you hear traffic and humming and buzzing and stomping. <sighs> Self care to me because during this current times or a time that's so unknown and very you know heavy and a lot of things thrown at you at once you may even feel misunderstood or not heard because a lot of people are waxing cold right now meaning a lot of people are not showing compassion towards one another and you know people like myself it's like it's really getting to a point where you have to make a decision to want to continue to fight the good fight and I go through these moments where I'm not sure if I do want to fight the good fight and that's just, I'm not trying to be discouraging, but I know a lot of people feel the way I do. So I'm just speaking just personally on true stuff because I know it's going to help somebody. So I just need to put it out there. But it's like, so why are there people that are sincere good people that get the short end of the stick? Now, mind you, biblically, I understand why. It's just hard personally going through it, being the person that is the good person or the person that is the straight and no person, the person that, you know, would want things to get done without being rude. But then when you are rude, still stuff doesn't happen because people are rude back. It's just, it gets to a point where it's super exhausting. And my form of self-care during times like that is either just going to visit my mom because she, you know, she doesn't live near me. So it's like a getaway for me in a sense. Or she can come to me or I get her, you know, the whole kink boodle. And a lot of people... I want to promote healthy coping mechanisms when it comes to heavier times and understanding what you need just personally because there's a lot of, you know, things that we see 
in the daily and I'm you know I'm not really making good eye contact I'm sorry I'm just trying to get my words out because I'm so frustrated to the point where there is myself the old me shut down completely like I would isolate to the point where it, it was annoying to get a text message no It's not like that anymore. You know, just getting overstimulated. And if people are in those situations, you know, as I've been through it, you gotta take yourself out of that situation. And it takes time. Like nothing, when it comes to self-care, mental health, all of that, it just, it takes time. It really does. It's not just an instantaneous thing, especially if you have the assistance of counseling and therapy. It takes several sessions for you to not only put what you're learning in therapy into practice, but also to really jot down, you know, the trends that you're seeing in your behavior. It takes a while for behavior to change. And I want people to understand as I always say, give grace to people when they're going through something because it's like the basic things, like the basic level of consideration in people, the basic level of just, I don't want to say empathy because not everybody has that quality. But all in all, it's just they are only feeling like they are the main character in their story and that's it and you just need to rock with it and just <laughs> if people have been literally just beat down by people, by society. It's like, how much more can a person or people or a group take, you know? And I, I truly pray that those people find some type of inner peace because even with me, and I'm pretty sure y'all could tell that I'm really tired. Pretty sure. Because, you know, the face is swollen and all that. It's just whatever. So I'm not afraid to show the times where I am completely stressed out. I'm completely stressed out. But it's not in a way of... You know, anything particularly going haywire. I mean, I guess I guess you could say that. I don't know if things are going haywire right now. And it's a waiting game and it's a decision game and everything like that. So with that process, it's... It's hard to process at times. So for just me personally, I like to try and get away over the weekends or try something new or eat new food or try, you know, just try something new. I do actually want to go back to um, doing some archery. So I'm trying to find like a either a camp or a, just an open field that has equipment that I could use. By the way, for those that are able to drink, 21 and over, okay? Because with my analytics, they don't show me yet who watches me. So, 21 and above, drinking age, 
because I ain't started drinking until I was 21. I ain't have a lick of nothing. No, I was straight edge all the way. But anyway, it's brandy and Sprite. I like brandy with either Sprite or ginger ale. Kind of with, I don't like Coca-Cola. I like that, but it does like take out the punginess of the brandy. But, um, and anything derived by grapes, like any type of alcohol I like to, um, consume. But that's probably from conditioning <laughs> from, you know, life. Long story, not, not even going to go into that. <laughs> but, um, the compassion with people being so limited and them not understanding simple social cues, not considering several outcomes because I tell people too, like my foresight with things and my capacity to be able to think of several outcomes that could happen with one situation. It's like people would, to me, it I would want people to take that for high value, but they don't, and it's weird. And I don't know if that's just my own personal experience, but like I said, if it helps somebody, it helps somebody. So it's like it's a fine balance between someone listening to you because you have sound guidance or you have sound guidance, you tell people, and they don't listen to you. And when you need something, people don't take you seriously. Or I don't even want to say seriously. They just don't have the capacity to have compassion because they just generalize a certain idea, maybe about a certain group or about a certain gender or about a certain body type, whatever, whatever the case may be. I don't really care. But if, because I have been in many positions in the humanities field, if I was there ever, ever do something as seemly as what has been done to me that I'm still healing from and even in the process of still going through like I would be without any type of job any type of you know just network of people it's just you know, mind you, when you choose a certain path, too, that goes away anyway. Because they just don't want to understand where you're coming from. They just don't, they don't care. So it's like, again, back to do people like myself start to turn cold so that way, you know, feelings are protected. Now, mind you, again, I promote beneficial, positive coping mechanisms I know that's not okay I'm just venting right now I know that's not okay and I'm not gonna do it but this is the mindset or this is the you know the progress or the thinking pattern that people have to get through in order to be okay and go through whatever transitioning or hardship that they're going through it's normal to think that way and I want to you know make people understand that it is okay because even as a person that has the background that she does I have it too I feel those feelings you know and I don't want to make people feel like they're alone you know so you know the housing market is trash People are debating on if they should rent or not rent anymore. The pros and cons with that. It feels like it's impossible because, you know, in my generation, especially with COVID, you know, you're either entering or getting out of college or maybe going to grad school or whatever the case may be. And you feel like, okay, it's been what, three and a half ish years since the pandemic? Sorry. Since the panoramic, because I gotta, <laughs> you know, even though it's been 
a long time, you know, it's still prevalent. But anyway, when you, you, the generation that has been going through that, you know, either going through the educational system or trying to become an entrepreneur, because to me, the school route got me out of my hometown, but I've always had a business mind. But then you have to find out what's lucrative, what isn't, what may work, what may not, the risk of not being successful or things popping off. So understanding all of that and understanding that it's not instantaneous like, you know, the microwave society that we're in now. It's like you have to go back to your roots and understand, no, a lot of stuff is not instantaneous. You have to work for it. You have to be consistent in it. You have to have, you know certain aspects about yourself to be able to push through and have that tenacity to just you know as I said move forward and do what you got to do so it's all that to say I know probably that this feels like a really random rant like what is she even talking about I'm sorry for me this is therapy for me. This is for me to be able to look back on because during the season where I feel like <laughs> the world is just kicking my tail, honey, kicking it, drop kicking it, MMA fighter, tornado, hurricane, earthquake, no sun, no moon, no water, no, no like that type of thing, like <laughs> that type of season that I'm in but with the coping skills that I have I'm able to do the mirror work and people may not know that term but mirror work is just pretty much self-reflection like okay what are you currently going through how can you make yourself feel positive during the season what can you you know read either biblically or you know maybe a self-help book you know, because even with my reading, I've kind of slowed down because I feel like I don't have that concentration. Which is, mm, it's kind of annoying, but, you know, it's, but at the same time, reading and an author, <laughs> because I am an author, uh, I don't, what I write about, what other people write about, you know what I'm saying? It's just... I could be very particular with what I read, being a writer. So, just, that's another self-care thing that I wanted to mention. Use, you know, the gifts that you have, just not for business if that's what you want to do, but have a passion for it because to me, I have to be in a writer's mindset to write the content that I do. I have to be in a talkative mindset to be able to do the vlogs. I have to be in a positive mindset to do both. So it's like people spend, and this is helping me too, people spend too much time under, you know, letting other people bog you down with their actions that it can be easy to feel like the world is against you but it's just these people that are probing and prodding and poking the bear but at the same time if you want the bear poked <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that but yeah all that to say, the underlying messaging of that is please understand that it is okay to feel overwhelmed, overstimulated because of the society. It's There's a reason why they want people to crumble. There's a reason why they want the society to be so, you know, just congested if you will so find the ways that work for you find the self coping skills that work for you seek 
professional psychiatric help if that is beneficial to you, if you believe it is, because I would never not recommend it, you know? It's something that I, you know, was in when it comes to the professional realm. And I have seen people with their light that goes off because we talk through stuff. So, mind you, I go back and forth with counseling myself because it's like, okay, my education, my educational background, excuse me, allowed me to be able to have more tools than the average person when it comes to that specific academic realm, right? Anything you, anything you do, working your tail off, having that concentration, having that focus, having that determination, and so on, it's like, okay, if you want something, I, I would say go for it and be, you know, goal-oriented, but at the same time, please understand that you're living in a microwavable type of society but it takes longevity for stuff to really work so I'm understanding that and there are certain con contractual there's a certain <laughs> I don't know the word for that but there's a duration of certain contracts that must be fulfilled maybe in your life that you have to endure until you're able to move forward with certain things and i know that is one of the most irritating things just personally for myself that you have to you know even though you don't really want to at times there's certain contracts that you have to fulfill so that way you're able to have the credit or you're able to have the reputation or the recommendation or whatever to be able to move on to the next step and I understand too that with generational things, there's a lot of shifts in certain things too. There's a lot of, you know, either attitude situations or just people. I'm just talking professionally. I'm not sure really personally because, you know, I'm tapped in, but not really. <laughs> but just human nature and its current state is doing what it's doing and me personally I have to daily come to grips with it I have to daily understand it I have to be able to just understand if changes happen there needs to be a grace period just for myself to be able to adjust and so on I just want people to know that if you are having a very rough time with people, places, or things, <laughs> that it is a, I don't want to say a test, what's the proper phrase for that, because I don't want people to feel like they are being tested when they're not. Or if they are being tested, I, you know, I can't determine if you are or not. So whatever situation that you are facing, you know, just understand that it has to happen, you know? For either stuff to get better or it's maybe another teaching lesson at this point it's just like you gotta rock with it either way you know and just positive positivity knowing that it's going to be okay it's going to make you stronger it's going to um, feel like you are completely bum rush in the storm but then it passes over so understand that you're okay and you will be okay and understand that if you do need professional help 
please get professional help and find a person that you feel like you can have effective change in. And if there's a circumstance that you are bound to right now, please understand that there will be a day where you can be free from it. Okay? And that's speaking for a lot of things. So I'm going to get off here before I get too emotional <laughs> and shed any more light on anything. But I'm not sure if this is the end of the vlog or I may put some more stuff in maybe again as this channel is big on self-care just doing something fun or being goofy or you know just living life you know so thank you for being so attentive I appreciate it so a form of self-care is pizza food in general but pizza is a comfort food is what it's pervy to these I just got used to eating pizza not with anybody's garlic sauce so listen my ranking is pizza hut in my hometown domino's no pizza hut from my hometown always going to be number one it hasn't changed in years okay little caesars and then domino's so because <laughs> you gotta have some comfort food and even with the discipline that I was having a few months ago also I need recommendations on some workout gear because the pieces that I bought like they're more colorful so they show more sweat and I work out outside I don't have like a gym or anything that I can go to so I need one piece situations to help me out but yeah let me show you this pizza so here is the pizza I usually get like a combo like all black olives or onions or mushrooms and onions whatever the case may be so comment down below your favorite type of pizza brand make it yourself what do you put on it you know also I got a bread bowl with it's like the pasta in the bowl that's made out of bread so yeah let me grub and continue to watch this series oh, how are you doing here? I ain't buying it all yeah jogging is better in threes and don't make a big deal out of it Twirling and grinning. Oh, uh, she got some Italian chocolate. <laughs> yes, I did get me some Italian chocolate and it was delicious, but I also realized I don't do random and casual. I do real and honest with a dollop of clumsy, but also be honest about that. Damn. All that she ain't even hiding. I'm probably gonna marry that guy. <laughs> she definitely hot. Uh, <laughs> Hi. It's editing me. I didn't realize my rant went about 20-ish minutes. <laughs> so the vlog is around the 40-minute mark. So I am going to stop here. And then the next one will probably be, you know, just me taking a few days for myself. Um, possibly doing some outings and maybe some errands but you never know that's the plan but <laughs> we'll see within the next week so until next time take care